That's fake. That is fake. Story time. I'm always very skeptical when it comes to shopping for secondhand luxury goods. The fancy terminology is called the pre-love luxury goods. Are you like that too? Because you know, there's just so, so, so many fakes around. But a few Instagram followers of mine has been telling me that Vestiare Collective is actually really good. So I was like, Really? Are you serious? Let me Google Vestiare Collective. Dior Vibe Bag. Mm. That's fake. Fake. If you watch my real versus fake Dior Vibe Bag, you can tell there's no effing way that this bag will ever look like a deflated basketball. So. No, 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 no. This is fake. But then I did a bit of googling and I saw a news that Vestiara Collective was actually launching a collaboration secondhand service with one of my favorite online retailer, my Teresa. So I was like, okay. And then I also saw a few more news articles from a few top fashion magazines like Harper Bazaars and Elle about Vestiara Collective. So I'm like, all right, let me give it a try. I will just get something that is not too expensive and try out their authentication service. After all, it's just $15. But if I receive something fake, you're dead. So I went on to the Vestiari Collective website and I set myself a budget of 800 New Zealand dollar. Nothing more. Hmm, what can I get with 800? I don't want to get a secondhand Dior bag because if you look at the pricing on the website, like I might as well get a brand new one from the shop, like so that I know it's definitely real and it's brand new. And then I was like, hmm, how about a Dior t-shirt? Because I've been wanting a Dior graphic tee or Dior simple logo tee, but I just couldn't spend. Look at the website. I want this. Jador 8 t-shirt, it was 1,300 Australian dollar. And I just checked just now, it's 1,400. And a friend of mine from Dior was like, Yeah, we just have a price increase, sorry. Okay, back to the Vestiare Collective. So I found this one, size medium, US dollar 499. And the seller said that she only worn it once and is in a very good condition. And then I check her detail, of course, we need to do a bit of investigation because you never know. She's an expert seller, that means she has been selling for quite a bit and has quite a lot of positive feedback. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I try to negotiate the pricing with the seller. On Vestiare Collective, you can like make an offer and see if the seller will accept it. So I made an offer of 350 and then she counter offer 400. Oh. All right, I'll take it. I completed the purchase, spent another 15 US dollar for authentication. This better be legit. Now that I have completed purchase, that means the seller has seven days to ship my item to the Vestiari headquarter for quality control and authentication. Five days later, on the 7th of July, I received an email from Vestiari Collective that the Dior t-shirt has arrived at the Vestiari Collective Hub for checking. Okay. And then on the same day, 7th of July, few hours later, I received another email. That was really fast. That my order has been shipped with DHL. Hmm. You guys certain that was legit, right? Because I have a few friends at Dior. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let me show it to them when the order arrives. Fast forward six days later, on 13 of July. My parcel has arrived. Six days is actually not bad, considering New Zealand is at the bottom of the world. We are the neighbors to the penguins. So that's not bad. Okay, now moment of truth. Vestiare, are you ready? This is the front. 
This is the back and just says open here. Any freebie? Nope. The Stiara Collective. Thank you for creating the future of fashion with us. You're welcome. Please make sure it's real. Oh, this actually looks brand new. Okay. I'm pretty happy. On the second look, this is not brand new. I can tell because it has been washed, which is great, but it has been chucked into a normal wash. I can tell because of the wave from the collar, but I really love this t-shirt. Let me show you why I love this t-shirt. Like you look at this effect, right? It was created because it was screen print from the inside. Clever, right? To create like the effect like this and i just feel that it's really 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 clever and i love it and i'm asian i love lucky number eight <laughs> this is the bag no major issue clean and this is just an overprint from here which is fine okay i have also checked this t-shirt against what's on the website and I noticed there is one, one, one minor detail, which is, so this is a tag from Vestiari stating that they have checked this t-shirt by this person on this date. So back to that minor difference that I noticed, look at here and comparing with the website. That doesn't say that this is fake though. That just says that this is from the older batch and a newer batch of t-shirt of the Jador 8 or any Dior t-shirt will have this kind of labeling. That's all. It's just a quite old t-shirt. But for me, I'm happy with the condition. What do you think? So how many days do I have for the return policy? if something goes wrong. So if I discover any problem with my item, I can notify them within 72, 72 hours of purchase. 72 hours, 72 hours. How many days is that? Uh, three. Three days, three days. So I have three days to notify them. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? 72 hours, how many days? Uh... <laughs> ah, I'm so happy about this. I need a simple t-shirt that goes with jeans so that I can wear it on off-duty day and I can wear it to run errands. This is perfect for me. Nothing else to complain about. What do you think? Have you shopped with Vestiari Collective? Are they okay? Do you like their service? And last but not least, should we go to Dior? Should we just show this to my friends that work at Dior and see what they think? Let's do it. So here we are at Dior Auckland. If you have not been here, this is the first and only duo we have in New Zealand. So let's go. Am I in trouble? Good news, bad news. Good news is I got my authentication. The bad news is though, I can't show it in front of the camera because they don't provide this kind of service. They do provide that at the head office. This authentication comes from a friend's perspective. So I want to make sure they keep their job. But yeah, it's real. Even though they are not happy with the quality and the condition of the t-shirt. So yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're considering buying from Vestiari Collective, I hope this video is helpful for you. For me, the $15 authentication fee is totally worth it. $15, peace of mind. Hell yeah. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Before you move on, please subscribe to my channel, press that bell button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And if you love some fashion inspiration, daily outfits inspiration, things like that, follow me on Instagram. Hopefully, I will see you on my next video. Ciao.
Oh, guess what guys? You know what happened? No, the t-shirt is still real. But I finished filming the whole video and I realized one thing. I forgot to zip up my damn dress. 